Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on highway to Baku. Playing today, spawning on the right, we've got Dark Region with Soviets who has counterattack, defensive, and guard motor. Google Translate tells me this is Beamer with British forces who has special weapons, mobile assault, and royal engineers. On the left, we have RIP Jonathan with Osir who has lightning war, joint operations, and fortified armor. And finally, Uncle Clappy with OKW, who has a breakthrough, special operations, and elite armored. Uh, rankings Dark Region, last known rank 10. The Soviets, Jonathan, currently ranked uh, 29. Clappy. Currently rank 170 and Beamer last known rank 102. Sorry, I think I did that. I'm alternating between sides. Open them up in the wrong order. I think that gives us a bit of a rankings edge to the uh, allies. Conscripts may be looking to come around the corner here, but the wagons there. Don't really want to be fighting this many units with just the lone Kubel. It's in the Sturm Pies now, but Kubel's already so low on health at this stage. Sniper actually from Jonathan, no machine gun. He's up against the Universal Carrier though, so it's a bit of a tough go. Looks like maybe he's going to switch sides over and help against the Soviet units, even though they're relatively cheap to reinforce, at least they should be safer against the Universal Carrier. Focusing down these stern here. Here comes the sniper now. And the conscripts getting chopped up by the Fox Rangers long range as well. Oh, did manage to get a Faust off on this. Trying to close in here maybe. Getting too low and the uh, recovery sap is coming in. No way he could chase further than that. Unfortunately for Jonathan, not going to be able to follow this up. And with the engineers right here for repairs, munitions is going to go to waste. Three kills on the sniper, not too shabby. be a decent time to try like sneak a telemine down around here Fresh grenadier squad. Might catch a vehicle so much blood. oh he's gonna try put some s mines on the fuel point instead interrupted before he even got one patch down though yeah, decap the fuel decent going for the officer next is beamer Snap up to four kills now. Does have the Vickers on that Universal Carrier. It's relatively potent. Sniper, very cautious stuff. Coming back down for the Soviet units, but they are uh, a lot defensive as well. Pretty even split down the center of the map so far. KDs in the dark region, not doing too well. Typical Soviets, though. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Conscripts can't last in the center. Four conscripts from dark region. Has locked into defensive, hasn't fielded a dish gear yet. Just about there in terms of command points. 222 in the build for Jonathan. This is a fast 222. The faster the better if you're you know, trying to hunt down the Universal Carrier because AC comes typically about a minute after this if he's building one. He's uh, only going for the side tick at this stage, so mistiming it a little bit. 
Should already be in production at this stage. Here comes the 222 looking to chase the Universal Carrier. Trying to intercept with the Snare. Got cold feet, decide not to chase. Gonna look for the Assault Officer kill instead. And gets it. That was a bit of a lucky break, I think. Seems like the cannon got a shot off long range, contributing to that kill. Unlikely to happen with all the scatter. AC in production. Like Axis going to take control of the VPs. It's gone camped inside this trench here. No AT gun yet from Jonathan, struggling a little bit in terms of manpower. Be very careful. Any moment the AC could pop out. Doesn't even have. Oh, and the tricks both of these units as well. Interesting. He hasn't even uh, finished upgrading his mid bunker yet. Wagon shipping away down the bottom. 222 two, two, rotating down to the Fox Street Deers. Is battle group for Uncle Clappy. Standard vanilla build overall from Clappy. The Rakitin coming in next. AC's on the field. I don't know if the Green Deers saw her or not. Ooh, if they did, that was definitely the wrong way for the 222 to be driving. Bit of a lucky break that final shot landed, I think, but. Oh. Was that a heavy mortar shell? Gun has taken the field. I think it was. So I thought, I thought they might have been a squad wipe, but there's nothing showing up on squad wipe indicator. Well, yeah, I mean, Jonathan was asking for trouble, not building a pack, driving around with no fausting support. It was, uh, and wise. The pack gun is ready for orders. The mortar not really hitting too much so far, targeting not the best. No, Dark Reacher still hasn't gone for any tech yet, so it looks like it's going to be a straight tier 4, pretty classic Dark Region stuff. down here, Stern Pies trying to hide behind the wall, going for a cheeky ambush. T-Gun and a Faust actually connecting, far enough back though that should be surviving. The kit was coming up but a little bit slow getting there. Throw a Molotov, maybe got a peek that these Stern Pies were behind the wall. Oh boy, combat engineer is dead in the center. Still uh, not quite hitting anything. Very little veterancy to this point. Oh, there it goes. It's on the board. Commandos, meanwhile. So, you know, approximating my no section build. No, he did build an extra section. Oh boy, got close enough for the AT grenade. We're all trying to get out of harm's way now. On top out. Very good range for the commandos, yeah. I think Flappy overstaying in that engagement. P 
peppering away here with the MG. It's getting out actually early. We could have pulled back to this point instead and have to retreat, I think. Okay, Vet 3 on the UC took a AT gun shot there, but still alive. Did I say AEC? Universal Carrier. AEC's up here. It's up to Vet 1. Six kills now, so it's actually been getting some decent damage on the infantry. Just to jump into the trench, but it's not the best choice against the Flamer. Sniper in a bit of trouble. Just kidding, took zero damage from 11 rifles. Firing about three volleys. Yeah, these things happen. It's a snare off. Not gonna look for the kill though. Second sniper now from Jonathan. Hmm, might cause himself some manpower issues doing this. Maybe he's planning like a straight tech to tier 4 or something, I'm not sure. We are losing a sector. But yeah, by going for another sniper at this stage, this is going to be delaying a medium tank. A Scharfschütze has arrived. Tanks now have defensive smoke Still only the one T gun as well. Vehicles can be hauled down. Increasing defensive okay, posture. recon flight coming in. Mech is doing its best to shoot it down. All of its form of anti yet. Heavy cover position. He's gone for Brent, put them on the commando and one of the sections. Pack missing somehow. Still in range here with the UC and he's gonna get Fausted. I think this is gonna be the end. Faust got cancelled a couple times, but eventually came through. And there goes the Universal Carrier. Had a pretty good run. Had plenty of opportunity to get away from that though after the first miss of the AT gun. He got a little bit lucky there. And then he squandered his chance to escape. Ooh! Okay, that's nasty. The double snipers stacking up the body count. Looks like it's a race for the LMG and the sappers are the ones that get there first. Double snipers causing some major issues now for Beamer. Commandos are pretty good against snipers since they can camouflage around and avoid taking too much bleed. But it looks like he's going to rebuild this section. I think that's pretty much the worst idea possible of any squad he can build. So, you know, the assault officer, maybe he can call in some artillery strikes or whatever. Now the recovery sapper, you got the smoke grenades to deny vision from the sniper. Another commando. Another good unit. I don't understand that. I think that's a very bad idea. Here comes the T-34. That region going to build up a quad next. Doesn't want those recon planes lingering any longer than they have to. Good look at positioning for the start though for Clappy who has locked into Elite Armoured himself. Doesn't really need anything else to this point. Elite Armoured, a solid late game option. Not a lot of VPs have drained so far from either side. A pretty close contest to this point. Double snipers there. Six kills and... Oops, 25. Oh boy, what is this? Luckily the AT gun misses. Very lucky. Fighting from a little bit further back this time. The second Raketan picked up by Clappy as well. Getting a few shoe mines down. Looks like a rebuild on the engineers. No 
sweepers on the unit for dark region though, a little bit sloppy, he could have been repeating this up faster even. Soviet mine on the fuel point. Here's the OKW Panzer 4, no IT gun yet for dark region either. Conscripts do have anti-tank grenades though. Speaking of conscripts, he's been tier 4 for a while, he's got plenty of munitions, but he hasn't gone for any 7-man upgrades yet. Might be trying to save some munis for this, but I think he's just... 7-man upgrades so good. Should be going for it. The double snipers just chopping up anything that goes into the centre. Need to make heavy use of smoke here, I think. I'll clear off the trench. Splendid Cromwell ready to up go. in the north and the AT gun's away so you can maybe force away the machine gun here. Jonathan did put down tier 3, he's building a Panzer 4, one side the trench goes down. Just to the sniper fire. Slow reactions. Artillery from the uh, Panzer 4. Looked like it hit anything though. Yeah, this is quite a late Panzer IV, given the fuel control the Axis had, probably could have hit the field over two minutes earlier than this, probably three minutes earlier. As, uh, as I said, slowed down on the manpower front. Got that second sniper. Got the land mattress rolling onto the field now. comes the Panzer IV. Cheeky, you pop in and out there. No chance for a reply. It's a heavy mortar doing. Only three kills, a lot of veterancy, but... I want those model drops. Won't be bleeding that manpower from the opponent. Let's only see, like, the alerts back here, but... It's a land mattress. Might get the decor on the AT gun here, actually. Targeting the bunker and maybe the last non position of the snipers. Doesn't look like it's going to get either of them, though. Going to run right into this machine gun again. Remember, Panzer IV hit that mine that was on that fuel point. AT gun's there as well. Lost for vision, though. Panzer IV still very healthy. It's going to be fine. Cromwell comes up here though, clears off that. The AT gun pulled back for some reinforcements. Mando's going into camouflage mode here. Maybe going to try to go for a sniper ambush. So far the snipers have almost never come to the north though. They're always in the center. Enough craters around though. These commandos sneaking into quite an advanced position. Could be quite good. Ooh, is he going to lose camo? Throws a grenade. AT gun decrews. The green is right there for the recruit. Kills off the bunker though. Was, that, was he even targeting that? I thought that might have been the scatter shot long. It just happened to kill off the bunker. Kittens pops off there. For a second shot now. Petution next for Dark Region. And understand, we're always up against machine gun double a kitten, so I think it's a, a fair choice. Got a few by shell. Oh boy, a second land mattress from Beamer. I don't know about this. Maybe he can kill the sniper with him, I don't know. It seems a bit risky. He's under strength when it comes to anti-tank. It's just got the one Cromwell AC, no AT gun, no Piets that I'm aware of. Not many mines that I've seen, so... This could backfire on Beamer. Not a very aggressive style from Jonathan though, just happy to milk the manpower advantage from these double snipers. 
dark region and oh here we go the land mattress is popping off going after the snipers one of them goes down mission accomplished there we got one kill between the two of them oh he retreats back through the land mattress again but he makes it home safe Was forced away. Tegan in a good position. Double kittens rolling up here on the T thirty four. Has to back off. Comes the Katusha though, the counter attack. No! As for the units around the trench, Mortar decrewed. I thought he'd be going for the double Rakitans that just revealed themselves. So did Clappy, he retreated both of them, expecting that to be the target. He's fast on the reactions. Put down the artillery of the P4 there. Didn't quite kill off the heavy mortar though. around they get revealed and then they retreat we can't play enough for Jonathan quads there though shoots it down real fast bit one now what are those recon planes huh interesting okay Panther rolling onto the field and this could be a bit of a turning point for the Axis I do feel the Allies a little bit lacking in the anti-tank department. Second Pyo coming in for Jonathan. The sniper that survived was the high bit one at least. 39 kills now. Good. Yeah, 22 minutes and that's an impressive rate. Comes the land mattresses going after the sniper again. A little bit delayed retreating. I think it's just one land mattress though. Where's the other one targeting? Looks like it's going after the machine gun. Does force that to retreat. So it opens up the north of the map again. The beamer. Chusha finds the Rakitans. A bit of a Zis barrage coming in as well, I think. It's cool, but it does survive. Hit the misses as it drives through. The lights have ticked under halfway now on the victory point scores. Commando's right out the back here, get the decro on the AT gun. LMG Green is trying to do their best. Oh, Pops off as Vet 1. Great way of stopping the commander. I think you've got two models with that as well. Otherwise, I think the commanders could have stood their ground with the with the Brins, with the light cover. Clappy getting kind of close to the pop cap limit, deciding to go for the final tech truck. Maybe open up the King Tiger as an option later on. Just for the repairs, not too bad of an idea. I can't believe this AC is still alive, by the way. Well, it's, it's got nine lives. <laughs> Enemy forces are securing our territory. Just going to lock down that VP. Oh, conscripts getting it down to the bottom. Pans of four down here, but they might be able to get the neutralize off in time. T gun missing there. Enemy threatening a capture point. An attack round attempt missing as well. Oh, Cromwell's getting baited in here. Yeah, the vehicle control so far from Beamer, not very good. Maybe he's got really bad lag or something. Because it's been a bit of a recurring theme. 
It's very slow reacting to stuff like that. A pretty long range. A lot of scatter on that. Grazing the overs. Just about ran into it with the stern pyros. <laughs> we complain up again from Jonathan, but that quad is still on the field. I don't want to save his munitions. I don't think it's worth on the field. I can understand maybe spending it if you just want to get eyes on something. And you understand it's going to be shot down rapidly, but then you can line up a really good barrage with your Werfer, but it wasn't even completed yet. So I'm not sure what that was about. S35 and a T gun. And lifting, T pop tracking. How do you see that back there? There was the conscripts. Mattress doesn't seem to be hitting too much. This one seven, this one one kill only. Oh, here we go. This is what he's waiting for. Sniper's high vet though is a bit of light cover for the initial bursts. Doesn't get the squad wipe, unfortunate there. Did he get that ambush bonus? I, I don't think he did, right? T gun gets decrewed. Covers it now. Rifle made in, partial connection, could come in here for a smoke with the AC to cover it up as it, it tries to escape here. Get some assistance from his teammate. T-gun decrewed in the water. Fires off the tread shot there, it's locking the Panzer IV in place. But uh, Panzer IV is going to kill off the decrewed weapon now. Here comes a bit of land mattress in this area. A little bit of damage to the Panzer IV. Mission accomplished. AT gun decruit. Okay, uh, engine crit on the Panzer. He's ready five extremely low though. He's just gonna cut and run. And what is this? He's left the conscripts here behind. Maybe input mistake. Didn't queue up the retreat command or the go through properly. As if it was coming down from the side, so he's right to escape with that S ready five. Otherwise, it would have. Kill coming in from the site. Comment on the field now, though. Looking a little bit grim for the Allies at this stage. Quite far behind on VPs. You'll find it very bracing up there. Let's see if this comet can do anything. Jonathan going for a panther. Interesting choice. Not going to stall for the elephant. We've seen the elephant have success on this map, but. Maybe he doesn't feel the need for it. Panther can handle a comet just fine. We're sneaking around now with all this light cover. Oh, but he left himself in the arc. Might not matter though. Six pounder, anti -tank oh, so close. Good attempt, good attempt. Kills. Nearly bit two on that Panzer IV. Looks like it's been a little bit slow to vet. Come double land mattresses. Spraying this whole area. Catches the repair units. Might get the deeper on the pack as well. He's having trouble working his way out of there. <laughs> he runs back into the rockets. What is he doing? Becomes the AEC. Go for the sniper, doesn't get it, takes a Faust on his way in, but the Comet's there, so the Panzer IV can't really uh, do anything yet, but it comes the Panther now. Complaining in from Jonathan again. Looks like everything's going to escape for Beamer. Chusha targeting. Slightly off the mark. Doesn't have to repair for long to get rid of that engine crit. Oh, he's popping off the tread shot. 
Both drops connecting, pins are four stuck in place here, but a bit of rubber band action on the Comet. There's a four popping smoke, and he's one more shot to kill here. Where are the attack rounds? Not there. Lucky break for Jonathan. Oh, no, there it goes, the AT gun finally. There's a forward dropping down its artillery. Rakitten got decrewed up here. Oh, there goes the Panzer IV, actually. I thought it was going to escape. This ready five says... No. A couple land mattresses and a bit of a slow reaction from Jonathan. We're going back the other direction. Just about decreed the mortar. So much artillery flying both directions. <laughs> allies way behind on VPs but killing off that Panzer IV that's a good first step for a comeback here rebuild on the conscripts for dark region it's also managed to pick up a second combat engineer Maybe close to his pop cap limit with his conscripts arrival the uh, force increased range bullets on the Kachusha by the way Plane coming in again. There's some Katusha out the back. It's really five, I think, focus sight mode doing some spotting there, allowing the Katusha to find its target. Okay, Commander's sneaking through in camo again. The land mattress coming down. This could be a nasty one for Jonathan. A tremendous amount of pressure here, but the uh, maybe land mattress is overshooting. If he goes down, runners get very low though to the Panzer four. It's a little bit deep, I think, with the land mattress. Still got a grenadier wipe though. He's going to try to kill off the decrewed machine gun. Probably he should. This is a shot on that. Lamb mattress nearly knocked out the Werfer even. Oh, it goes for the steel on it. Oh boy, AC could go down to the Panther here. No, AC smoke, so is the Panther. Attack rounds. Ooh, that was really close. Nice attempt. Second over now for Clappy. Bofors up over here, covering the VP. They're coming in, but I don't know if he really wants to be doing this, unless he's trying to line up a Werfer barrage here, but it's not cool down. So my mattress again. Jumps back on the pack. 17 kills and 9. They're doing alright, the land mattresses. Jonathan's forces looking a touch weak at the moment. Changing grenades. Two shot the back, maybe a little bit. Oh no. Just weird scatter on the first volley. Just about got the Rakitten. Grind really sitting in here for both teams. Just trying to dodge artillery, keep their tanks alive. Looking for opportunities to do something else. Three campaigns there. Not last in line though. Comes a word for though this time. Coordinates it well. That mattress is already dodging back though. Pretty decent worth of strike nonetheless. One twenty-four left for Dark Region. I mean now for the Allies. Second worth of for Jonathan. That's pretty much gonna round out his army. Gonna squeeze in more squad of infantry or something as well. Half 
So we've got this Kubel back here, by the way, on detection. Fighting uh, Intel and probably even spotting this sniper. I mean, uh, commandos. to jam the capture. Is this the turning point though? Oh, it's maybe uh, setting up a triple cap here for a little bit. So they're going to lose control down the bottom though. Here comes the second Werfer. Targeting the repairs I think. Ooh, nearly lost the squad. Oh, well, we're getting quite low. Panther, thinking about going in here. Didn't pop blitz though. Still driving forwards. Gets past the AT gun. The AC's there. Getting slammed. Oh, AT gun decrewed. Not looking good for Beamer. Pops off the tread shot again. He needs some assistance from his teammate, but Dark Region, he's in some trouble himself. He's lost to conscripts. You see, he ends up going down all the way back here. Must have been to the Panther. Long range shot. Three five coming in, but there are kittens from the side. And now, Uncle Clappy. Okay, he drops down the anti tank overwatch to try and prevent the chase. Let's kind of put a halt to the Axis momentum. No tank kill though. Two two back up for grabs. T-gun to get destroyed up there as well looks like. Using salvage on the wrecked weapon. Back, largely missing. 118 points left for the Allies. <laughs> it was trading well in terms of grenades, but then the, du the double mortars had something to say about that. The campaign shot down fast. 64 kills now on that sniper. Time fuse action coming in out the back now from the heavy mortar. Oh boy, where was he going with that land mattress? He's lucky to get away with it. Kill off the Bofors now with the Panzer IV. The Comet's there. Still doesn't have enough anti tank support for it though. The land mattress out the back knocks out the pack. Might even destroy the weapon as well. Oh, it doesn't get so lucky this time it goes down. Quite dead. Marie is dead as well. I think on retreat to the land mattress. 23 kills. Still only 12 on this one. He's not fired. We're down to 100 points now. Your action. Oh. Gets out of there with the Rakitin. Combat engineer's dead, so trying to go for the capture. Comet making a bit of a move here against the Panther. The SU 85 T 34 coming in as well, but the Comet disengaged. Had the opportunity to go in for the kill there. Decided against it. Might have died in return, but I don't know. I feel like allies maybe need to take a bit of a chance here to get themselves back in this match. 80 VPs left. Capture the north, slowing the drain, but still pressure. We have 75 points left. I'm going for the sniper. Use the 
the uh, any pier truck here with the Panther. Eventually suppressing. Good worth it. Knocks out the conscripts. Maybe a bit of friendly fire on the Obers as well. Hitting too much here. Kills off the Kubel though with a bit of lucky scatter. King Tiger rolling up. Oh boy, is ready five has to get out of there fast. Oh, he's still alive, so is the Panther though. King Tiger missing a lot of shots. Pushed down his artillery. Not V1 yet. 11 kills though, and he's still not V1. Four coming around the side. We've got a Firefly on the field now, though, for Beamer. Could this be the end of the Panzer IV? No, he blitzes out of there and the smoke as well. Sniper did to the land mattress, though. It's also did up here to the King Tiger. Pop heat shells. Didn't really get a chance to use them, though. King Tiger. That's the Werfer. Mm, I'm still standing. Vish on that Rakesson. Okay, making a bit of a move here. Good opportunity to continue, but you didn't want to get rammed. Does have enough munitions for the anti-tank overwatch again. Mind off there, maybe. Just going for the cap in the centre once more. He's out the back, not quite clearing off the land mattresses though. And the Firefly will cause major issues for these Panthers. Got the Bryn Mandos. Just poking and prodding everybody with their various vehicles. That King Tiger out. Okay, it's repaired back up to full. Panther gets quite low. Blitz is out even. Really need to get these overs on top of the AT gun. In fact, it's backed away for healing. Next time the Panther's making a bit of a move. Need the overs there to assist. King Tiger rolling in, but double tank destroyers are right here. How well this is going to go. Kachusha barraging. Oh! Max range right on the edge of the scatter zone. Unfortunate there for Clappy. Wurfer up the back. Way off target. These Wurfers, not the best from Jonathan. 7 and uh, 20, okay, 21. Well, I'm just doing pretty good. Oh! Oh no, the other Ober goes down to more rocket artillery. Oh, that's disastrous for Clappy. He needed that for our anti infantry. He's just getting pummeled by the rockets all of a sudden. 56 points left for the Allies, but they're not done yet. All those squad wipes against Clappy. Start to turn this one around. This might even be one of those situations where you can maybe go for like a Puma. If I sneak around the side, 
go hunting for opponent's rocket artillery. Got the heat shells, makes it a bit better. Okay, here we go, making a move now. Drops the artillery down on the AT gun. T-34 goes down to the Panther that dives in a bit. Bofor is covering the center now. Panther continuing to chase. He's got the heat shells active, but the Fireflies there as well. Rakitin gets a couple shots in. A T gun decrewed by the King Tiger. And that's uh, finished off now as well. Fast retreat from the uh, Commandos. Oh, we'll be sitting in front of that KT. Oh, the Bofors though. She's doing pretty well. Get rid of that. Put the comets there as well. Bring in a rebuilt sniper, maybe for some vision. Kitten, lucky to escape with its life. Reconnaissance flight set to go. up. SRA 5 slow with the focus sight on. Backing away now though, Firefly's coming in. Panther's still not repaired up yet. Bit of a repair problem for the Axis right now, with Jonathan maybe not pulling his weight. Another one pilot. He's managed to squeeze out the Elephant though, so let's see if this can close the show for the Axis. There are quite a few vehicles now for it to shoot in and can clear off those placements as well. This is exactly what he's trying to do at the start. Always goes down, Panzer IV. Takes a battering. Oh, the Werfer goes down to the land mattress as well. Big shot from the elephant. Fireflies backing off. Might even be worth just leaving the sniper camouflage and sneaking forwards, just providing vision for the elephant. Natural the rockets. The sniper. Make sure he doesn't run back into them. Oops. What was that? He was home and free. Seems to go on hold fire and like sit around here, would have been fine. Not a good move there from Jonathan Sniper. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Now walking Stuka now from Clappy. Doesn't have a huge amount of targets to actually shoot at with this walking Stuka. Dark region. And he had one AT gun, one mortar. It's okay, you know, it's a little bit late to be going for a walking stupor as well. Doesn't have much of a chance to vet up. I suppose his teammate could just lose a, uh, a Werfer, so maybe that's just need a bit more indirect. Lost us out there. Werfer coming back the other way. Really aiming at anything though, is he? And now our uh, allies looking to see up the triple cap. How things can change. A couple unlucky rock wipes against Clappy. A couple uh, land mattress kills against Jonathan, and now all of a sudden the axes are in some trouble. Shot on the Firefly has to back out. Right, wrestle control of the bottom here, but still got two T-34s dark region, and he's got enough for the anti-tank overwatch as well. Hasn't really been much of a factor so far this game, but you never know when a ram into overwatch is gonna turn the tide of a match. Sneaking around the back here, trying not to get revealed. Wanted to get decrewed somehow. 
elephant. He's putting out some pretty big damage. Oh, bios go down. Couple points gonna drain here from the allies. Stuka not hitting too much there, honestly. Ready for for, uh, a little bit. To deter the cat at least. That mattress out the back here and doing a little bit of damage to the tanks even, doing some lucky pins. is down for Clappy, just playing a bit of retreat it. Very hectic at the moment. Heavy mortar connects for Kitten goes down as well. That was a bit five. Real shame to lose that. Washed off quickly by the SU-85. Uh, Bryn Mando is really a handful for Jonathan to deal with now that he doesn't have the sniper. And the a little bit low on health. Comet's making a move. Gammon bomb out. No. Crew grenades from the common. <laughs> Tiger being well contained by this high vet SU 85. Never found the opportunity to just polish it off. Now the axe is ticking under 100. Triple cap running against them. Blitzing in with heat shells active, but missing a couple crucial shots. One more and you get the kill. Is he going to continue on his path? It's 35. Oh! So close. So sad for Uncle Clappy there. GT Cruise has a fall very low. For a half track to reinforce with. Here comes the ram. Does not penetrate though, no permanent engine damage. Still tough for the King Tiger to extract itself from this position. Is he gonna go for another ram perhaps? Pan Panther comes in to draw a bit of the fire. Oh, this Panther's not backing away, he's still in the anti tank overwatch. Maybe they've lost vision now. This comes forward, provides some vision. Stuka coming back the other direction. A few points straining from the allies. Having a real race to the finish here. Decently targeted walking Stuka. Eight kills and two barrages, pretty good. Be time for a smoke grenade here, I think. In the bundle. Not gonna pop it though. King Tiger coming back in. Now the anti tank overwatch is worn off. Comet trying to get around the side of the elephant. Firefly coming in as well. Elephant trying to spin in position, but it's getting tulip rocketed. Hands of four goes down. The worth is back there vulnerable as well. Firefly chased away by the panther, but this is looking disastrous for Jonathan. He's getting completely chopped up. Dissected. Very ineffective defenses to that. Panther coming across from Clappy, but... Himself. Probably doesn't have the firepower to get the job done. Has to back away. Couple lucky bounces, perhaps. Jonathan's got nothing left now, though, after that. Very poor handling of the elephant, just sitting in position while the firefly slammed him from this side. He needs to continue to back down this direction. That was not good. Clappy's tank's now extremely low as well. This 35 is going hunting, he's got the tracking active as well. I think this should be enough for the allies to close the show in terms of victory points. 
Lamb actually just knocks out the half track even. 41 kills there, 35 on the other, the other one caught up massively. Jonathan. Rip indeed. He's got nothing. <laughs> He's got two grenadiers. <laughs> We'll go into double time now because I feel like he's probably left. The situation is becoming critical. Oh no, he's still playing. Only 50 points remaining. Okay. Panther's healthy. No, there they go. Okay. <laughs> So hard when the replay's close to the end of a... Uh, it's hard to see exactly when it's going to finish. Anyway, good comeback here from the Allies. You know, I think Clappy played a, a very solid game throughout the match, but just a massive accumulation of rocket artillery wipes, two Obers and the Raketan set him back a long way. Kind of allowed the Allies back into this game. Jonathan, a bit reckless with his units, seemed to lose a lot of stuff to the rocket artillery and I think a lot of avoidable situations here as well just slow reactions you know that sniper we saw as well he ran back into the rockets and lost it a few situations like that occurring ended up costing the Axis late game and maybe understaffed in terms of repairs relying on his teammates repair station only having one pyo often low in health low in model count slow repairs but yeah, impressive comeback here from the ex, uh, from the allies. It was looking a bit grim for them, but you know that comet cheeky stuff somehow stayed alive after a few faux pas with the vehicle control early on. From Beamer did very well with these two in the late game, and just the land mattresses just getting coincidental kills on things like uh, Panzerwerfers and all sorts of other stuff. Really uh, bleeding the axis dry this game. How the uh, Katusha do? 19 kills. Is this a rebuilt one? I don't think so. Land Mattress is actually uh, good this time. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.